hour, there are still people lined up to testify against a bill seeking to limit who can attend a drag show. State Senator Dave Merman, a lawmaker from a small town near Hastings, proposes LB 731. It would make it a misdemeanor for anyone to bring a minor to a drag show and forbid anyone under age 21 from attending a drag show where liquor is served. Opponents today said as written, the bill could ban a teen from attending a rock show where the performer wears makeup. KETV Newswatch 7. Alex McLoon is live at the Capitol. Alex? It's going to be a long night for lawmakers who are about to start listening to all the opponents in line behind me. These people have been standing in line for hours to tell their side of LB 371, saying they fear this will push LGBTQ plus people out of public life. We talked to the senator who introduced this bill, Dave Merman. We saw him just leave the hearing room moments ago. He says he saw two clips of drag shows from Lincoln and Omaha, and he says his bill, he says his bill protects Nebraska values. We are not the villain, ever. Filling the Capitol Rotunda and its hallways, self-described drag queens and activists protest a bill they fear is unconstitutional. It's a violation of our right to free speech and free expression. Dance, music, fashion, performance are all forms of protected speech, and our government can restrict that expression based on its content. We begin our hearing on LB 371. Senator Dave Merman introduced the bill saying it prevents drag show performers from confusing children about their sexual identity. I totally love them, respect them, but uh, it's all about protecting children. Parents say this should be their decision about what their children see. Um, well, I do believe that parents are the, the uh, ultimate authority of their children but when it comes to extreme things like, uh, uh, you know, sexual entertainment, adult entertainment. I think it is the responsibility of government to prevent that from happening. It is actually a part of this national agenda to erase trans and queer people from public life. Star City Pride says the bill threatens events like Lincoln's Pride Parade, requiring more money to police minors. It already spends $4,000 to hire patrolling police. Right now we have grown to over 4,000 individuals that attend Pride every single year. Illustrating their story hour, performers say they're standing up for the fact they live. It is just queer people showing queer art to queer families and children. Now, during this testimony, testimony, Senators Carol Blood of Bellevue and Wendy DeBoer of Bennington asked Senator Merman about where his bill draws the line, saying artists like Alice Cooper or Harry Styles might resemble drag. Merman responded by saying he's concerned about how genitalia is expressed and shown. Live at the State Capitol, Alex McLoon, KETV, Newswatch 7. Alex.